Innocent human lives are depending on this clock. Pa! None of them ever took the time to talk to me, did they? Screw them! Any good war stories, old timer? Ah, you don't want to hear an old man jabber on about war. Okay, fine. It were done. Air dropped into the thick of it, strapped to this very chair. Me and me unit were cut off, cornered. Three Borkos approaching, and to smear ourselves with our own feces to avoid detection, hunkered down in a ditch. Turned out to be two sisters carrying their gerbil to vet. Let mincemeat out of them. Happy times. Tell me another war story. It was early morning, February. The Big Freeze, we called it. No time for imagination back then. Ship had been stuck in the ice for three weeks. Cold. Damn cold. So cold I wasn't able to keep me bearings. I have metallic ones now. Right bugger going through airport security, I'll bet. You wouldn't believe. Tell me more about the war. Dawn. North Atlantic. We were deep behind enemy lines. Just spotted a large shoal of god off the starboard bow. And then out of nowhere, an Icelandic trawler appeared. It were bearing down on us. No hope of avoiding them. Had to engage. Oh, I still get flashbacks. Night times the worst. I can still taste the salted snacks that they offered us during heated negotiations. What war was you in anyway? You what? All of them buckle. Any more war stories? It were night. I remember that much. Best story ever. What happened to your legs? Official secrets that prevents me from giving any details. Any more yawns? What are you? A Borko spy? So, after the war, how'd you end up here, in this clock? Well, tanks, clocks, they're all the same on the inside, really. What's wrong with this clock? Thirty years ago, lightning struck that tower, and it hasn't run since. Are you in here when it happened? Yep, fried me cable. Thank God for this VCR. Have you tried fixing it? Clappers Leak Preservation Society are always banging on at me to fix it. I told him, you try taking a neck cutter to the chest, then see if you feel like fixing the bloody clock. So, now that we're chums, what would it take to get this clock working again? When the lightning hit, it blew the minute hand and the X clear off. What do you need to fix the minute hand? A new one. I mean, what's it need to look like? Any bit of metal about six foot long should do it. Bit of ornamentation never hurt either. Tell me more about this X. You know, the bit of clock between the one X and the X1. Oh, the Roman numeral ten, you mean? No, the flipping X. Who's the clock expert here? That's it, but those are just superficial. I'm a man of pride. Won't start her up until she's polished to a right high shine. Why don't I see what I can do? You go find me some parts, and then maybe we'll talk. cares about Clapper's Reek? I do! And you do too! Your donation could make all the difference. Who's he talking to? Sir! Yes, you there, sir! Welcome! Haven't seen you around these parts before. My visits usually occur at night, with a forensics team. Ah, so you're a local then? 
as much as I like to admit it. Spare some change to save Clapper's reek? No thanks, Chugger. I've already spent me whole day trying to save Clapper's reek. Me too, fellow citizen. Have a great day. Hi there. I've got a little something for you. What, me? Yes, you, sir. Come on over. What's this? Don't tell me you've never seen one of these around town. It's a Who Cares badge. Everyone's wearing them. It's not exactly inspirational, but strangely appropriate. Who cares about Clapper's Reek? You do. Wear it with pride. Have you got any bugger off badges? Fresh out. Tourism in this town? Who are you kidding? No joke, officer. Just good old fashioned civic pride. No, oh, I know you're joking. I'll be honest, when's the last time you saw someone with a camera in this town? Well, actually... Not counting sexual predators or the BBC Crime Watch crew. Oh, 1983, I guess. All right, bucket beggar, what are you out to eradicate? Climate change? Ah, no, but a noble cause all the same. Think globally, act locally, I say. No, you're looking at the founding member of the Clappers Reek Preservation Society. Clappers Reek has something worth preserving. Of course it does. Clappers Reek has a rich and diverse culture. So does a Petri dish at the CDC. Where exactly are my donations going besides your bucket? I have a plan to tidy this town from the inside out. Oh, like some sort of municipal enema? Exactly! Would you like to hear about it? I'd rather drink me own urine. Some other time then. I'm here to help. What was that, sir? I said I'm here to help. Actually, I heard you the first time. I just didn't believe it. I'm supposed to get you anything you need. Wow, fantastic. How about a coffee? Thanks all the same, good citizen, but what I really need are donations. Here is a donation to what I believe the restoration of an equitable social climate in Clapper's Reef is worth. 22p! Thank you, kind sir. And here's a little something for you. What are these? Clapper's Reek breath mints. Dissolves on your tongue, makes your breath sweet as the song of the Clapper Finch. Oh, I am never, never eating one of these. Have I helped you? Hey, every little helps. I'm a long way from done. Are you saying you're willing to do more, noble citizen? Depends. What's the minimum I can contribute to consider you helped? Surprisingly little, considering the state of the town, I mean. How much? See, my citywide renovation plan outlays an entire budget structure. Oh, let's see, taking into account property values, printing costs, a small PR team, the tanker of ammonia. How much? 25,000. You what? Pounds? It's really very little when you consider all the facts. Where the bleeding hell am I supposed to pull that kind of cash? I've got another donation tin if you like. Do you expect to raise 25k off the pocket lint of this town full of grunts? You know what they say, from tiny acorns do mighty oak trees grow. Oh, and from tiny malformed babies do epic tossers like you grow. I'll be back when I find some funding, or a fairy flaming godmother. I look forward to it. I've gone light-headed. Looks like some hostages are gonna die today. 
pretty easy to come in first where no one else can be bothered to enter. What are these? Ah, glad you asked. That's an information pamphlet. Everything you never knew about Clapper's Reek. There's nothing I don't know about Clapper's Reek. In fact, there's plenty I wish I didn't know. Oh well, this is just the good stuff. No wonder it's so small. Clapper's Reek is rife with history. Read about the statue in Cottage Park. Follow the architectural brothel tour. The story of the great fire of last Tuesday. The ceremonial ringing of the mayoral beer mat. The annual pheasant kick. Willie's waggle. Pickpockets row. Seamus's grotto. Enough. If I take one, will you shut up? Sure. Thank you. No, thank you. Notice. This is your public park to enjoy at your leisure. Rules are below. No skateboarding, no cycling, no dogs, no footballs, no running, no heavy breathing. Walking in the park is not advised any time, day or night. No smoking, snorting or injecting unless accompanied by an adult. Please take your rubbish with you. This includes corpses. No fornicating in the children's play area if children are present. Shouting, whether in pain or distress, should be kept to a low volume. Registered sex offender, please sign our guest book. Have an absolutely super day! Bite me! No way, ho! That baby ain't mine! Hey! Where's you going, fat boy? Go catch a bus, short ass. I'm here on business. Yeah, fugly? What kind of business? Because I'm thinking we could make it our business. If we're gonna do business, one of you's gonna have to translate. Now, I'd stab you, but I don't want to get your blood all over my new trainers, yeah? ba da ba da Yeah, oh, thanks, boys. You've got a bright future ahead. <laughs>